and we have more information on phasing in just a minute. So this gives you the basic timeline of, of how this program will work. Uh, it takes about a year or a little bit more to do each phase. We really now envision that the initial phase will take a little longer than a year, while the final or third phase within a terminal is a little shorter because some of the systems that are being installed in the first phase are, are only being done in that phase and then they those systems are used for the subsequent two phases. Uh, so Terminal A is a three-year process starting up this next year. Uh, we're hoping to begin that work at the end of February, 1st of March. Uh, terminal C then follows after A, since these are both American Airlines terminals, um, that's part of the gate closure sequence. We cannot do those two terminals consecutively. Uh, terminal E will, will start uh, at some point in 2011 uh, after the new baggage system dynamics are worked out with TSA. And Terminal B is envisioned to start after that point, but we're currently looking at how we can expedite the start of that terminal. So that terminal could actually start in 2011 also. So well before the end of 2011, we could have three major construction zones and three terminals at DFW Airport all going at the same time. Uh, this has been a long road to get us to this process. There was a, a major master planning phase that occurred for a little over two years that really figured out what it is that the terminals need to look like, what amenities need to be added to the terminals. And uh, then the programming and schematic design phase took those master planning efforts and determined how do we then implement that vision. You know, how do we take that vision of what's being planned and turn it into reality? So that's where we really started getting into the, the scheduling and uh, what, what the existing systems look like, what the new systems need to look like, and then how do we make that transition between those, those two components. Uh, we're currently beginning the design phase. Uh, some of the designs already started. Some of the major terminal renovation design work is just about to initiate for terminals E and B. Um, and those design phases are really staged so that we're able to uh, expedite this process, design a section, build it while the design for the next section is ongoing. And then, like I said, construction, we're looking at that beginning here this next February or March. Now, if you look at the first phase of Terminal A, uh, which will, again, be uh, the first area that we actually focus on and work on, um, where uh, I, I kind of cut this graphic off a little bit too far, but you can see the, the dark line there on the bottom right hand of the screen. That, that's probably the end of the phase, somewhere in that area, okay? And the, the line wags through the terminal depending on what the systems above the ceiling look like, on where those cutoff points are. That line's different on the ramp level and the roof level. So depending on where you're at, that decides where we take that slice through the terminal and say this is the, the end of that phase. Um, now this phase won't be done all at once. You can see that it encompasses um, eight gates. Uh, so there's a phased approach to completing this phase. Now, when it's done, it will all open up at once. But there, there are some uh, s scheduling and sequencing issues to um, taking the gates out of service. So initially, um, there will probably be a, an interim phase down in the A9 area, and then A10 and 11 will be encompassed, and then A13 and 14 will be encompassed. So there will be a, this phased progression through there as the work proceeds. Um, all of the construction or the concession construction zones that fall within this phase, um, there will be a schedule provided on when those sites will be accessible for build out activities. And then those, that build out duration, uh, we're shooting for, uh, I believe, 150 days to schedule that amount of time. Um, for the build out within each of those zones. Uh, and it, it may be that, that the zone is, uh, or that spot is ready for a concession build out in advance of 150 days. So when it's ready, it's ready. Um, but there will be at least 150 days for all the spots to be accessible for final build out. Um, the general contractor for the airport in this airport in this uh, terminal is Balfour Beatty and they have a, a 
a good team assembled to, uh, to get the, this work done within the shell. They'll be providing this shell out for each of the concession zones and uh, all the utilities as described in the, the tenant design criteria um, that will be provided so that everything is ready when that area is ready for the final build out. Um, they will be in control of this construction zone because they're in control of the larger zone. So you need to understand a little bit about how they're intending to work because each of the, uh, the build out contractors will have to work within that system. So uh, this will become a non-sterile, non-AOA work zone. That, that demising wall, that fire rated, that blocks off this zone, turns it into a construction zone. So they will be controlling access to the construction zone simply from the point of view that um, they won't allow public into that, that area. Uh, there will be some badging or ID process to where your, your workers, um, your contractors, your uh, personnel can be identified for access. They'll have some plan on how each concessionaire can access their site safely through the general constru construction zone. All the materials will be delivered to the curbside and come in the front door, basically. All the waste stream will be going out the back door. When I say back door, there's not one, but they're going to create a back door through the window partition into a segregated area on the ramp where they'll have the, uh, the waste dumpsters um, or roll off containers. Um, so as those plans are furthered for the general construction, they'll also be provided through concessionaires to uh, each of the co concessionaire build-out teams. Um, so the other two phases in Terminal A, which will be Section B in the middle and then Section C at the end, will, will really proceed just like this. After this phase opens, then the next phase will um, be taken down in, in segments until the entire phase is under construction and, and then will be returned back to public service after everything is operationally certified. Uh, so really that's all I had to present. I know there's probably a lot of questions. If you would mi wouldn't mind, please write them down. I'll remain till the uh, end of the presentation and we'll answer any of your questions today that we can and we'll get you the answers to anything we don't know. Uh, so that they can post that on the website. So thank you very much. And, <laughs> and now I, I, I'd like to introduce Stephen. Or do, are we going to do some questions now? Okay, that would be great, Michael. If there's any immediate questions, uh, I believe we'll take those at this time. Just hold your hand up and they'll bring a microphone around. With regard to the um, terminal ceilings and the concourses, are those going to be raised or are they going to be the same height? They're going to be raised in some zones, and that's actually going to be covered in detail in the next presentation. One more question. When you say um, all these gates will come back online, does that mean they're all going to be taken down at one point altogether and then they come back online at one point, or are they staged? No, they are staged. We have restrictions for how many gates we can have out of service at any one time. So um, basically we'll have through A14 out of service. And then when we have to take A15 and 16 out of service, we'll probably return A13 and 14 to service at that time through a mechanism we've been working on. But we will not open the concession air spaces in that vicinity more than likely until the general phase is completed. On your diagram here, you show 21 days for gates 13, 14, and 15, and the rest of them you say 12 days. Yes, I, I'm sorry. The timing on this really is not relevant to uh, what we're discussing today. These, this timing is for something else. This was just a convenient slide to show the general phasing. So I apologize for that. I should have removed those references. But but good eyes to be able to see that on there. So. <laughs> uh, you showing a design phase. How long did the construction take total time of this phase? What I see, a design overview, you're calling it. As relating to this slide, okay, the design phase 
varies. Uh, so we, we are in a fast track process with our general contractor. So um, there are design elements that have already been delivered to them.